All right, uh, Chikudu Kulu Baja is here and uh, ready to look at the papers. Good morning, Chikudu. How are you doing? Good morning, Yere. Yeah, how, how are you doing too? I'm fine. Good morning. Welcome. It's, it's all blue this morning. Well, the sky is the blue. Mood. <laughs> blue skies mm -hmm. indicate a good fortune ahead, or at least a bright oh, really? day. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. The skies are blue. It means I, I, the day I'll is clear. Mm. All right, so let's uh, see the headlines uh, in some papers that we have. Uh, Daily Sun leads this morning, and the lead story here is, uh, is coming all the way from Kano. Uh, it says, uh, Kano Agog as the post Sanusi returns as Emir. The writers, Governor Yusuf reinstates her Masibian governor, signs into law bill abolishing four newly created Emirate councils. Mm. Northern elders express worry over attention. Caution politicians. Mm. All right, page six has all the details. Uh, we have this one uh, trending everywhere. A lot of questions uh, about it. And it reads National Assembly moves to return old national anthem. Reps pass bill to reintroduce its skill second reading in Senate. Federal lawmakers say current anthem forced on Nigerians by military. All right, uh, page 26 uh, would guide you on that. Uh, just uh, looking beside the picture story, we have asset declaration. CCB goes after three ex-governors, nine former ministers. Assets to be for forfeited, confiscated. And then uh, we have Tinubu Direct's comprehensive review of governance boards of tertiary institutes. Below that, this is a, a story of concern. Police abduct another journalist in Abuja. And uh, Enugu Command says he's with us. Page 28 would guide you. Uh, below that, we have uh, YX6 Federal Government uh, Governors IGP's help to conduct exams in Southeast, worried over IPOP threat to stop exams with seat at home on May 30. And uh, finally, this morning, uh, let's just uh, see this. Nigerians living in difficult, challenging times. That's according to the Sultan. Page 26 has the details. Victor. Well, I have the Nigerian pilot here and uh, the bold headlines here. Mass returns Nigeria to old national anthem and it has four riders. Begins deliberations on bills seeking to alter Nigeria's national anthem. Bill, when passed, will change anthem from Arise, O Compatriots, to Nigeria, we hail thee. The old anthem was used during post-independence period from 1960 to 1978, says it conveyed, epitomized the significant historical heritage of Nigeria. And above that story, just uh, below the nameplate, Wike makes case for severe penalty against vandalism in FCT. You can get details of that on page 9. Samusa is back as Emir of Kanu. Find that on page 5. Oil, gas, FG attracts $16.6 billion investment in one year. That's according to Minister Heineken Lukbobiri. Find details on page 19. And there are stories in the news quickly. Please abduct another editor, Madwan Wara, in Abuja. That's on page 6. Court grants Sirica, brother, 100 million naira bill each over alleged 19.4 billion naira loot. Page 9. Senate begins investigation of 11,856 abandoned projects across Nigeria. Page 6. Commission moves to check nationwide hike in prices of commodities. That's on page 7. Confusion as Binance executive Gambarian collapses in court. That's uh, on page 9. I think he's learned a lot uh, being around Nigeria. <laughs> you can say that again. Federal government launches national information portal. That one is on page 6. Check it in. These collapses in court. <laughs> I think um, doctors should be admitted when these people come so that we can tell between collapses and know which ones are genuine. The guy has learned, he's learned a lot. Remember the PDP man? <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, 
Lord God of all creation, grant this our one request. Help us to build a nation where no man is oppressed. And so with peace and plenty, Niger may be blessed. That's the last stanza of the old national anthem. It became my poem. I liked it. When the change happened, I asked, why are they changing it in terms of melody and orchestration? I'm not a musicologist. I prefer the old one. In a way, I like what is happening, particularly if it's not going to involve any cost. Because what I expect <laughs> is that you're just going to readopt what was jettisoned for no good reason. People, they expect there to be budget for teaching it to children in schools for publicity. For all of these, I'll be one of the teachers, teachers be because I still remember I'm, 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 I'm not sure how that I'm not sure how that differs from the God of creation. I will direct our noble cause, yeah. guide our leaders right, <laughs> help our youth be true to you, I and love like, our honesty. I like what Nigerians are asking is that what's pressing need? Perhaps uh, now that you say you don't have a lot of money, uh, everyone will recite the old anthem. I was listening to the radio as I was coming, the car radio. One man was fuming. He was vibrating in, in rage that could, you know, fill up the Atlantic Ocean. Now, that's not in the mind. There are problems now. People, they're hungry. Then they turn back. Like, like, he, he was shaking my car. <laughs> it can't come at no cost. This, this, country, this country does throw up certain things and lift the eyebrows. And the speed at which, it, you know, it's and the, 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 the it's such, such an exploited... You know, accelerated consideration. Is a all three where everything passed in one day. Is a is a wonderful roller coaster. Our prayer is that it takes us to heaven. <laughs> then, since you learned the old anthem, when next I hear you say, "Look, but, I don't have money," I'll tell you to recite the, the national old national anthem. anthem. But, uh, no, it's sweet melody to me. I, I am hoping that they will succeed. Really. Nigeria. Well, and Nigerians are the, are the states where they want to sing. Someone says it sounded like a Catholic hymn now. <laughs> <laughs> Nigerians are their religiosity. What does Catholic hymn now? Anyway, <laughs> Muhammad Sanusi is reinstated as the mayor of Kano. I will reply, whoa, and quickly also hear, say, hey. Now, this is what I mean. Well, because if some injustice or impropriety has been proved in the removal of the Emir in the first place, then that injustice has to be corrected. But if by any stretch of the imagination, those in authority are merely exercising power, then you need to say, hey, take it easy. And the reason I said it, this is that our traditional institutions are ones that are, you know, composed of revered stools. You cannot just roll them to any corner of the room you want, you know? So we have to be careful. But for now, it's, uh, congratulations to the returned Emir. I have always had a soft spot, I must confess, uh, for Sanusi. Uh, one thing that... Um, His intellectual uh, prowess and wonderful erudition. They've always one got thing me that smiling. That resonates you know? with me in yes. all of this is the point that, um, you know, breaking down the Emir in the revered you know, still breaking down to four. Into five bits yes. and pieces, diminishes. That is why I stress you know, that he is the sole emir. Very important, that adjective. Sole emir. Yeah. And so that resonates with me. And of course, the monarchs appointed uh, by Ganduji, they, they, they are no longer, uh, of course, going to function since their own emirates mm -hmm. have been, you know. They just let, revert to status quo. Let them, let them work it out. I don't ever like it when our traditional institutions are brought out to the public, you know, we turn it to football. No, we're not going to do that. And it shouldn't be politics when, you were, when we're dealing with our traditional that institutions. That is what you Bless you. You're saying it even in more succinct terms. There shouldn't be politics. It should be something that is at the heart of what the people want. Want, true. And I pray that the jubilation that is mentioned is real following the reinstatement of Samusi. Nouns, nouns, Naptan, others, hail student loan. Scramble for slots as portal, you know, opens. With the current economic situation, you would want to think that about three quarters of Nigerian students are indigent and, uh, you know, needing to take a loan. That's going to give the administrators a big, a big job of defining 
transparency, you know, deservedness, and uh, in terms of who actually gets the loan, it's, not, it's a very tedious assignment mm, because they're going to be swamped in applications. That's what I think. We wish them the best of luck as they get down to the big assignment of giving further credence to a clearly wonderful government intention. That's what I think. And then um, uh, police adopt another journalist in Abuja. He's with us, says, uh, which uh, police? Enugu uh, command. Enugu. <laughs> uh, that's a bit delayed because uh, it took a few, uh, some, uh, almost half a day for them to tell but us. Why is he with, with them? The next question is, why is he with them? And if it is not arson, if it is not murder, if it is not robbery, <laughs> is it possible he gets a bail with him for, for doing, doing his job? Those are the issues. And these are things we must not joke with in this country. Freedom does not come easy. The last time uh, I heard that um, uh, First News eventually apologized and all that, so I decided to retreat from my insistence that uh, we should find out what happened about, was it Tunji or uh, something, mm -hmm. you know? Um, we have to be careful. Democracy is fragile. You handle it with, uh, with a, you know, a very soft gloves so you don't crack it up. It's like an egg. We have to be careful how we uh, exercise the powers we have. We're not saying this as journalists. I'm saying this for anybody taken by the police, the army, whatever security agencies is involved. We must be seen mm. to be people who cherish human freedom. That's not to say that anyone who does you something do anything. bad should not go and suffer it. All right, All right and um, we can make case for severe penalty against vandalism in the FCT. I think I stand with the minister on this. The, the minister is going to sanitize the FCT again. By the way, work has started at both ends of the Apokarishi Road. Imagine the volume of traffic that will be removed from the Nyanya access when you commission that road. And you ask, what has been keeping former ministers of Abuja from getting this job done? In terms of that, Wike would always get kudos from me. Because he's Mr. Uh, Project. And you know, there is this one. Mr. Project, by the way. There is this one that has just been comple uh, completed, just uh, close to us here, that takes you to Area 1. Yes. At, 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 takes you to Area 1. Area yeah. 3. The, 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 the road. And the. And back. The uh, very quick. And the, uh, and, the, and, the, and, the, and the alternate route, you know, the one that uh, takes you through Ministry, Ministry of Finance, straight to the American Embassy, mm -hmm. it, that, the other side of it is almost completed. Funny here. enough, this is what Look, governance should be about. So that is it. Uh, we're just celebrating this because other people sit and do nothing. Anyways, we, we're out of time, but I just want to mention this uh, story about a, a university student in a boy state who committed suicide. Uh, because her name uh, was omitted in the NYC uh, list uh, or so. According to the story, her mother said she's been filling a particular course by a particular lecturer, and that delayed her for a number of years, and now, her, you know, she was supposed to be graduating and her name was not so there. And, and so a lot of cases, you hear people committing suicide, depression, and all of that. I yes. mean, people just need to know that life is precious. We, so, we were talking about... No matter the challenge. We were saying the other time that mental health issues are all over with us. Mm. We don't have the same amount of resilience, mm -hmm. equanimity. So we have to be careful how In fact, how the, we this, this one about two days ago, a mom of two who also committed suicide because of a failed marriage. Mm. So many stories here and there. Let, let, let's thank Chukwudi at the time. moment. Let's, let's thank him uh, for his time on the program while I sip on my coffee. Say, say it properly. Let's thank him away. Okay. You are thanked away. I am done to go break a leg. <laughs> 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 <laughs>